So Alan Richardson, the star of Reach or Amazon uh, Prime show, we've talked about him before. I tried to get him to debate me. He he wouldn't um, before we did a whole video about him. He's one of the leftist new mouthpieces. And it comes down to because he is a quote unquote Christian, he calls himself, but he goes against all Christian ideologies. So the left loved him and he's gained a lot of notoriety due to that. Because previous to that, he was a, uh, you know, B-list backup actor. Reach, obviously, he, he gained some fame um, and, and, and is growing. They're really promoting this guy. He's doing tons of publications, tons of movies, and they're trying to really pump him up. And it, he's gained quite a bit of following. Uh, I guess whenever I, I think whenever I did the video, he had substantially less followers. I mean, he's made probably almost 2 million followers since then. So he, he's definitely being pumped up, hyped up by the left because they love him because he talks against conservative values, talks against Christians. I remember even seeing him one time, basically a, a Satanist had done a, a video and then a Christian responded to the video. And then he did a video like cutting down the Christian and agreeing with atheists. Dude's, dude's a total white job. He does actually a, has a YouTube channel where he does uh, something called Insta Church. I think it's called Insta Church or something like that where he does sermons with radical leftist ideologies mixed in. But anyway, the, the day what we're talking about is he posted this. Apparently it came out that uh reacher star, Alan Richardson says cops get away with murder now all the time. Now the left love to blanket statement. People, all cops are bad. See, th this is the problem here. If he would have said some cops, but he said cops get away with murder all the time. That insinuates all cops, right? It's just that this is a, a Marxist tactic they use, a blanket statement. So then everybody fits into this box. So again, he, and then I'm going to read his commentary here. He calls anyone who's a conservative or Republican, a fascist, right? He, 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 he name calls and hates on all Republican uh, politicians. So, this is from the National Fraternal Order of Police. And I love what they said here. While Mr. Richardson gets his face and forehead powdered on set, our officers out doing a job that he doesn't have the courage to do. While he gets to hear loud pops and have blanks fired at him, our officers feel the heat of the bullets as they pierce their skin. There are no two takes or take threes, or no take twos or take threes in real life, Mr. Richardson. We have people who want to kill us and we play for keeps. Just another useless Hollywood actor, virtue signaling for attention at the expense of brave police officers around the country. Go back to your pampered life and let the heroes handle this. Again, he, what did he think was going to happen? Well, he writes a complete expose. Here we go. You can see here, Alan Richardson. This kind of emotionally immature response is the epitome of what concerns me about law enforcement today. If this is how leadership handles a peaceful disagreement, I don't think, I don't think that's peaceful saying cops get away with murder all the time. If this is how leadership handles a peaceful disagreement, what does life look like for those unseen interactions in the streets? How does this shape the character of those police officers looking to management? Do you really want individuals so easily angered and bullied like school children to have a gun in the protection of an untouchable union? I don't. And he's replying to the, the post, the fraternal order of police. You belittle me for incapable. You belittle me for being incapable of demonstrating bravery, but I believe that exactly is what I've shown. You've helplessly fired multiple shots at me simply because I have called out for more accountability. I did this knowing people like you who crave a pat on the back and zero accountability would criticize me standing up to impossibly large institutions takes courage. I've never been a fan of blight allegiance, which is dangerous and fer fertile ground for fascism. That's a word he loves. He loves that. He always uses fascism, a political persuasion. I'm averse to I also believe two truths can be held at the same time. There are absolute many good cops and brave cops who deserve the public's gratitude and certainly have mine. Simultaneously, it is true that there are rogue and ill-equipped officers who remind us that we need higher barriers 
to entry and stricter regulations. So abuses are relegated to the past. Both can be and are true. To only seek praise and ignore this need is extremely unwise and endangers those at risk of being ostracized and marginalized, which is who I'm referring to in my Hollywood Reporter article. Um, and then he goes on to say, to make matters worse in Florida, voters perpetuate this issues by continuing to support people like Governor DeSantis, who just passed a law making it illegal for anyone than police to police themselves. This is lack of transparency would be laughable if not so deadly. I'm certain efforts like these take us further from the world I hope to leave for my children, which is one with extreme prudence when deciding who we arm in a glass house for public institutions, especially ones with the ability to end lives. So thank you for your service. And yes, I do think like that. And and he's saying, I do think like that because someone messaged saying, do I re does he really think like that? And he says, yes, I do. Now, a, a few things going back up here where he's talking about, uh, you know, he, he comes back and says there's some good and brave well you didn't say that out of the gate you said cops get away with murder all the time it's just the blanket statement things like that and then he also says it takes courage it doesn't take courage to, to spout off something leftists do it every day it takes zero courage to spout off nonsense it doesn't take courage leftists do it all the time they say all kinds of nonsense that is not true not factual not statistics they throw those things out the window to make claims blanket statements such you know, this group of people are bad. Conservatives are fascists. And he does that quite a bit. And that's my hang up with this guy is that he does this all the time. And we know that what he is, in my opinion, is doing is garnering those elites in Hollywood. They're like, this is a good one. We can use him. He's a Christian that believes in no Christian ideals, right? In, in one of his videos, I think in the Insta Church video, he said essentially that there's no way that someone that votes Republican can uh, follow the teachings of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Do you think anything the left pushes, everything the left pushes is anti-Christ. It's anti-biblical. And going here, he again, he, he says that there needs to be uh, a higher barrier for entry and strict regulations. So abuse or like... It's hard enough to be, be, get police officers as it is, dude. Since, you know, I don't even know why anybody would want to be a police officer anymore because if you try to do the right thing, you get punished, you get maybe put in prison. If you try to do your job, they literally use police all the time to make statements, to punish them. And many cops got off the force, good cops. They've given up. Remember when the cities were burning and cops were having to stand down and not do anything about it because their leadership told them not to? I'm sure that was demoralizing for people that signed on to risk their life to be a hero, to do heroic things, to protect communities, that their hands are tied. They can't protect communities anymore. Look at our border patrol, how they're now essentially a welcoming welcoming party for a border. There's lots of good men and women out there that basically got shut down because of politics. Leftist politics go against justice. We see it all the time. We see justice being used for what they call lawfare to push political agendas, political ideologies. So, Guys, this is your man. If you're watching Reacher, this is the guy, and this is what he believes in. Uh, I don't watch Reacher. I don't care nothing for this guy. Um, I think he is a propaganda piece used by the left because he's a Hollywood actor. They're pushing him up. He's going to become more famous, in my opinion. I think he's going to become w way more famous. He's going to be an A-list act actor, one of the top dogs. And it's because he can be used. He's a Christian that goes against Christian ideologies. And feel free to ask him any any one of those things, uh, any any Christian value, and see what his, <laughs> his response is. They're always anti-Christ, anti-biblical. 
But anyhow, guys, I wanted to share this because uh, it came out and his, his response. And, dude, if you want to see how dark the world is, go read the responses to his post. And this is on Instagram. There's, there's some clinical people in this world, really. The people making attacks and uh, quickly jumping to Trump. Trump had nothing to do with this post, this article, nothing. But the people comment and say, stick to acting, dude. Quit being political. And they get this response. And that's that's my thing is people always say, man, go back to making survival videos. Quit being political, dude. Well, go tell that to Alan Rooster then. Go tell that to Nike. Go tell that to North Face. Go tell that to every other Hollywood actor, every other corporation. Tell them to stop being political. The reason why you're saying it is because you don't like conservative politics, right? It's just like the social media. Who gets shut down? You're not seeing leftists get shut down, but you're seeing conservatives get shut down. Heaps, heaps of them. Anyhow, guys, please comment, share the video. Remember to stay frosty, stay strapped, and always stay dangerous. Take care.